guys welcome or welcome to back to my channel um i have a little exciting video y'all excuse how rough i look it it's been a travel day but this is i guess my first like travel vlog i am in hawaii for a week and guys i'm so excited um by the time this is up i'll be back home but um yeah i want to take you guys along um just like show you guys what's going on i did bring me a few books i brought me emily henry beach read and i brought part of your world by abby Jimenez. then i also brought my kindle so this vlog is just gonna be you know what we're doing so first of all i just want to say hawaii is five hours behind um like we're in nashville so in nashville right now it's like like the nine o'clock um, it's only 3.52. Luckily, I slept on the plane, so I'm trying to, like, stay up, you know, so I can get on their time. Um, so, yeah, I just got here not too long ago, finally unpacked a little bit, and now I'm just ready to get the airport germs off. If you know, you know, I literally have been on flights for 13 hours straight, um, I had one flight and then I had a connecting flight. So yeah, it's been like 13 hours sitting on a plane and I just feel sticky, I feel journey and I'm ready to shower and put on a swimsuit and yeah. Uh, so I think, I think I'm gonna get tied today. I think is what the vibe is. But first I just wanna show you guys the view because first of all, I'm freaking loving it. See? This, this is literally gorgeous. So there's like a little mini beach. I mean, it's, it's really called the Paradise Pool, but it just looks like a mini beach because it has a little sand and then you actually have like the actual beach there. So I'll definitely be doing those. But yeah, I feel like for my reading, I'm probably gonna go to the little mini beach. And then when I like actually wanna tan and stuff, I'll go to like the real beach. Because the mini beach is closer to the room. So like, I could just easily run my book back up here because I'm not playing about my books. I don't want my books to get damaged. And there's also a bookstore really close to me. That was one thing I checked <laughs> when I saw as the hotel was booked. I was like, I need to make sure there's a bookstore. So I am gonna like probably go browse a bookstore one day um, and just see what's there. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna shower and Get changed and then I will see you guys a little later um, when I get go get ready to get food because last time I ate was on the plane and so I'm getting hungry again and yeah so but yeah I just want to wake you welcome you guys to this vlog um, let me know if you guys want to see more of these I have a lot of traveling coming up so if this is something you guys are interested in like little travel vlogs let me know um, but yeah I will see you guys when I go get some food in my system. <laughs> a.m. and I just finished getting ready and I'm about to go today is like a really chill day the only thing that I think like the only thing like actually planned plan is a Pearl Harbor tour um yeah because our luau is Friday super excited for that but yeah I'm gonna I really want a poke bowl because last night as you guys saw we had Thai and I really want a poke bowl so there's like a place on the resort that like has really good poke bowls right by the pool or like by the beach. So I'm gonna go get that and I'm gonna sit and read. I think I'm gonna start beach read. And then I know later today, technically 7.30 Eastern, but 1.30 where I'm at, um, I have my reading sprints for the Thrills and Chills book club um, today. So that's exciting. We're reading Never Lie by Frida McFadden. I'm like 35% into it. Also, y'all, my face has just decided to break out like crazy. 
and I also didn't notice because I wear my glasses so much like I have not worn my contacts in so long so like I got lines and I'm like hoping that like that goes away but I got my shades and yeah I'm about to go get food because I'm hungry I feel like I haven't eaten in so long but like I think it was like six something we ate last night so yeah it's still like kind of rough like I've been up since five trying to like because like 5 a.m was like it was like 10 a.m like we're in Nashville so like the time difference is a little hard but it's also like I'm up and ready by like nine o'clock so that's like a good thing and I am already sweating because it is so humid and hot here today like the room is set to 68 and it is like 72 in here that's how like hot and humid it is so like my hair is just like a lost cause but yeah so let's go get food and I will see you guys a little later today day you guys probably just saw a bunch of footage i don't even think i talked at all like except in the morning um but i went to um this place called aloha bowls and tea and i had that delicious poke bowl you guys saw y'all that poke bowl was so good it was so fresh like i don't know if i'll be able to go to nashville and like enjoy poke again because of how fresh this one tasted like i'm gonna like always notice the difference i did that i sat at the pool i was there for like two hours almost fell asleep and then um i did my little reading sprints and then i uh went to the pearl harbor little museum which that's what you guys just saw like all of that b-roll footage um which that's what i saw very very not very like intriguing and like so much knowledge is just in there and so yeah it was literally a sight to see um but i tr enjoyed it today the event of the day is a luau so super excited it's i think it's i'm trying to i think it's like somewhere on one of these buildings um and yeah so that's at like that's at 5 4 35 today um so and it's only 8 34 right now so i have a lot of time um i'm just about to go to the beach and i'm gonna read a little bit um but i don't know if i showed you guys this view i know i showed you guys like the morning yesterday morning i tried to get the sunrise but it's still kind of it's sunny but it's cloudy um so like it wasn't like super like you would i don't i have to look at it but i don't think it was like super duper like no like it wasn't like you know uh aesthetically pleasing sunrise but in the same way it was <laughs> but i'll like show you guys like what i'm seeing right now um so let me like turn this up but yeah it's like it's really pretty it's just like the sun's not like like out out but it is really pretty so i am going to go to the beach park today because yesterday i went to the pool um so i'm gonna go to the beach and like actually try to get in the sand i'm not a big sand person which is crazy i mean i love the beach but the sand like oh my gosh and i think like 
I hope I have my beach shoes. Yeah, because it's like, I don't know. I feel like I end up like sand just ends up everywhere um, <laughs> when I go to the beach, but I cannot go to Hawaii and not like come on you come here for the beach which i did but yeah so i'm gonna go get some food because your girl is hungry y'all i have leftovers i went to um round table pizza last night which was delicious um and i only ate like three slices of the pizza and y'all would not believe i brought it back but we don't have a microwave in the room like there's not microwaves in rooms and i thought that was like i don't know I don't know, I can't remember, like, I feel like hotels usually have microwaves. They have a fridge, but like, we're looking for a microwave and we could not find a microwave. And we're like, what the heck are we supposed to do with our leftovers? So, they're in the fridge. I may come back and eat it for lunch or I may just get something else. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out a way how we're gonna warm it up. I may have to call and see, like, maybe there's like a lounge or something where microwaves are. It's just a little confusing because like, it's just so many different like there's not it's not like your normal like there's not like a normal hotel lobby it's like you just have this one like registration area or like check-in because it's the resort and then like from there it's like which building you stay in so i don't know i thought i just saw both but yeah so i have to figure out like how that works like is there microwave somewhere or did i just really lose like i would have tried to eat all that pizza last night if that was the case um but yeah so it's really nice out here today it is um it's 72 degrees the high is 79 so yeah i am gonna go ahead and get out there and start the day and yeah i will take you guys along with me so yeah i will see you Probably be a bunch of b-roll again until later this evening when i get dressed for the luau so yes i'll see you guys a little later today footage you guys just saw um because i'm a coward and i get scared to pull out the camera and talk to it in public so it's like i just pull out the camera and film um so yes but it is the next morning um yesterday you guys saw i went to the beach i did a little bit of reading i was at the beach for like two hours um and then after that i went to the pool for like an hour and then i had a drink one thing y'all about them they gonna give y'all them drinks early like it was like 9 a.m. and they was already like ready to hand out drinks. They was like, are you ready to order a drink? And let me tell y'all, these drinks are strong. <laughs> Them drinks are strong, man. So I had a drink and then I ate, ate lunch and I was so sleepy. I don't know if it was just from sitting out in the sun and then the drink and then the eating. But I came and I took like a three hour nap, y'all. 
best nap like oh my gosh i had came in i took a fresh shower it was so nice so needed um and then it was after that it was time for me to get ready for the luau so i went to a luau yesterday and you guys saw all of that y'all amazing absolutely loved it so entertaining learned so much just about the culture and the dances like they were teaching us the dances um once again passing out drinks strong drinks at that um and then they also had like a buffet and the food oh my gosh there was like a seafood pasta um, there was grilled chicken grilled teriyaki chicken there was brisket oh my gosh there was like wild caught fish it was just delicious it was like buffet style um and then they had some amazing desserts y'all it was good and so that ended technically it started at like five um we had to be there at five that's when like the doors open so like as soon as i got up from my nap i was like i had to get ready <laughs> and we went there and i think it started technically about like 6 15 like once everyone was seated and like had like their first round of drinks and like everybody took pictures um so yeah and it was i don't think it ended till close to like nine something i think or at least it felt like nine something it probably was not nine something I'm pretty sure it was not nine something. It just felt it felt really late by the time it ended. Um, but yeah, I took pictures. And if you guys want to see, I'm pretty sure at this point, by the time this video is up, my pictures will be on my Instagram. So it won't be on my bookstagram. It'll be on my like personal Instagram page. So that's just that account is it's Jasmine Sierra. I think it's actually linked in my bookstagram account. So if you guys want to like just see the pictures feel free to follow me on instagram and go check those out i will post those um but you guys saw the b-roll too which is something instagram did not see they did not see all that b-roll so um yeah today it is currently 8 26 a.m um the only thing really planned for today i think is there's fireworks tonight um on like the great lawn so i know um, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go see the fireworks and I think that's kind of it It's more so like this today's like a chill day. I'm gonna sit at the pool again I, I did like the beach, but I'm such a pool person. I'm not the biggest fan of sand and Yeah, it was just I, I and honestly I just I'm not the, I'm not a swimmer So, you know once a wave get me it's a wrap. So yeah, I I mean I probably will go sit at the beach later today But uh, I'm probably gonna start my day at the pool um and i think i really want another poke bowl because y'all the poke bowl that i had that day oh my gosh just thinking about it still makes my mouth water so i think i'm definitely probably going to give me another poke bowl and sit at the pool and read because i still like i have not gotten far in reading at all like <laughs> i just it's just not been going well <laughs> like every time i get ready to read like i'm like oh i just want to lay out in the sun and then i get sleepy in the sun then it's like i just want to lay out and hit let the sun hit me and like not even look at a book so we're gonna try to read a little bit more today um but yeah so that's pretty much what it is today let me see let me check um my little itinerary tomorrow we're going on a hike uh, I'm so excited. It's like a hike that leads to like this beautiful waterfall um, And then we're also oh my gosh the rainbow. I see the rainbow. Oh my gosh uh, Hold on. You guys got to see this view this rainbow. Do you guys see that rainbow? That is so pretty bro. I love it. Oh my gosh. I just had to show you guys that rainbow real quick um, and So yeah, that is I mean super excited for the hike that is probably one of my the things I've been looking forward to um and then also we're either gonna go snorkeling or I think we're gonna do like a either a snor snorkeling boat tour or there's this like um, submarine thing I don't know we gotta figure out which one we want to do like what we have time to do after the hike we know we're gonna do one of them and then we'll probably do another one on Sunday um, I don't know you know how we feel when we wake up on Sunday so yeah we'll see but for sure the hike and yeah i did see they had like a parasailing thing but i don't know i feel like parasailing if i have to guide it i i need a professional guiding it so <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna take on the parasailing thing but i do think i really would love the snorkeling and it's so cool because they have like stores where you can like even just get like snorkel gear and i guess just snorkel like in the ocean if you want to um but like i told you i'm not a swimmer so i'm gonna need 
the professional snorkeling experience um not myself because yeah i i don't trust my swimming capabilities <laughs> um but yeah so yeah i will update you guys a little later my camera's about to die so yeah i'm gonna get dressed and we're gonna go ahead and get out there guys um so i cannot believe i'm actually coming on here in the middle of the day to talk because i have not done that um but it's currently three o'clock and i actually just made it back to the room i went to the pool as you guys saw and i read a little bit i am about to finish i got this drink um it's the buzz balls chillers and it's the strawberry rita y'all first of all this thing is strong this thing tastes like straight liquor like what straight liquor y'all that ain't that ain't playing with you and these drinks on um, over here been strong y'all they've been these drinks been strong um the way they've been making them but yeah so i'm just gonna sit and read some and then we'll probably go back to the pool probably like around i think i'm gonna sit on the balcony and read and i'll probably read for like an hour i'm learning it's kind of hard to read by the pool because i just be wanting to get in the pool <laughs> so i'm gonna read for like an hour on the balcony um and then i'm gonna go back down to the pool or the beach i don't know which one i'm gonna go to i'll probably go to the beach um well, no, because the fireworks are on the beach tonight. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to the pool. And after that, then we have the fireworks tonight at, like, 740, I think. I think it's at 740. Um, so, we figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner before that. But, yeah, that's what's going on. So, like I said, today's just kind of, like, a pretty chill day. Like, we don't have, like, anything major planned, like, no big events. The fireworks is kind of just, like, on our own time. Like, we go if we want to go. Um, so, yeah, that that's fun. That's, like, nice to have, like, a little chill day. Uh, because then tomorrow we do have a lot of things going on. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to sit on the balcony. I'm going to read a little bit. And then I'll talk to you guys once we get ready for the fireworks. I don't know if I'm going to change or if I'm going to keep this on. We'll see. But, yeah. I'll talk to you guys a little later today. I'm going to try to drink this and try not to fall asleep. <laughs> they don't have no microwaves. I had some leftover Thai food that I wanted to eat for lunch. Because I had got me a poke bowl. Y'all, let me show you a poke bowl. I had got me a poke bowl this morning when I went um, to go sit at the pool. And this was like... This was like 10 a.m. So now we at 3 p.m. But this was the Poke Bowl. 9.57 a.m. is when I took this picture. So do y'all see how good that looks though? Oh my gosh. It was the spicy ahi bowl. So good. Y'all, when I say the rice down here is amazing. The rice and anything like fresh is so good. Um, so I ate that at like 10 and... Um, I was like, oh, when I got the presentation, I was like, oh, I have Thai food. I don't want it to go bad. Like, let me just eat that for lunch because I know we're going to go out for dinner. Yeah, these folks don't got no microwave. I called because I put it in our fridge and I was like, oh, like, do you guys have a microwave where I can like warm up food? They're like, no, we don't have any microwaves on the resort. And so that kind of broke my heart because now I really like had my mind set on that Thai food. I had got chicken pad Thai and I got it spicy, which that's literally one of my favorite dishes in the world and it was so good and i was like oh, i can't eat that but yeah no so now i don't really know what i want like i'm hungry but like i don't know what i want um like i've already had a poke bowl today so i don't really want another one right now um there is like a tropics bar and grill but that's by the beach which I may eat that for dinner tonight since like if that's where the fireworks are going to be at, might as well eat that for dinner. So I got to figure out because I had a pizza too. I had a leftover pizza. Y'all, I had a leftover pizza and leftover Thai and now I can't eat none of it because there's no microwave. Y'all, that's crazy. 
I don't know. I could go back to the market and just get like a sandwich. I don't know. I just like don't. I'm not like in the mood for like a full meal because I want to save my appetite for tonight at the bar, uh, the Tropics bar. So yeah, we'll see. But I'll talk y'all to y'all. I didn't talk y'all ear off enough now, so. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little later tonight. So I will see you guys in the next clip. Lightning strikes by my window. Hits my chest right in the morning. Like a warning. Could have slept here for days. in Hawaii cannot believe this I want to cry because I never want to leave this place like I don't want to leave this place at all um, and oh my gosh I can't believe it's the last day um, today I'm going on a hike I know I was going to hike yesterday and I did horrible at talking yesterday so you guys probably saw a whole bunch of b-roll um, ended up doing a tour around the island of Oahu we learned how to actually say it yesterday um, so yeah also I have this like fresh flower lay on guys I wish I could I wish it would last to like take back with me but it's fresh flowers and it is not gonna land it's not gonna withstand an 11 hour flight um, but I just want to show you guys the view one last time oh my gosh y'all I could so live here like seriously I may just sell all my things and come and live in Hawaii like the food the poke like literally everything is just like so good let's see how it looks oh well the lighting is really weird if I go that way but yes literally everything is just gorgeous it's just oh uh, it was so relaxing I did not read as much as I thought I would so I don't even know if I have a full video um, to post for like what I read on vacation but I do have another trip coming up so I'm pretty sure I'll do a what I read on vacation um, for that one because this one I honestly just soaked up the life the Hawaii life like that's really what I did <laughs> every time I read I probably read like a chapter or two and then lay my book down and just laid out in the Sun so you know that's fine we're here to enjoy the hawaiian vibe so yes if you guys can ever make it i highly recommend it it's literally just everything about the culture like there's so much history so much knowledge like i think there's literally something for everyone here like even if you're not a beach person they have nature hikes like so many good food places when i tell y'all the shrimp I went to Tanaka Shrimp yesterday during my uh, tour and legit like the best shrimp I've ever had. It did not have that that like shrimpy taste if you guys know what I mean because you can just tell it was so fresh like and you don't get that anywhere else. <laughs> um, so yeah but I just want to hop on here and say goodbye and I love you guys and mahala for watching. I think I said that right. 
mahalo for watching that means thank you um yeah i everybody's my uncle everybody's my auntie everybody's my cousin now so you know i am adopted into the hawaiian family and i am so proud to be here <laughs> um but yes i'm gonna go on a hike i'll show you guys some little clips um and then after that will be the end of the video so i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye